Sup and good day gamers, a formal bust here with Day of the Tentacle Remastered, a first impression. But first we have our sponsor, good old H2O, dihydrogen monoxide, water, agua. Drink it up or die. Mm. Excuse me, I got a little bit more than just a water drink in there for y'all on the recording. Alright, let's get into this. Uh, Day of the Tentacle Remastered was released back in March of 2016, developed and published by Double Fine Productions. Description on Steam is originally released by LucasArts in 1993 as a sequel to Ron Gilbert's groundbreaking Manic Mansion Day of the Tentacle is back in a remastered edition that features all new hand-drawn high-resolution artwork with remastered audio, music, and sound effects. Retails at full price on Steam for 14.99 United States dollars, and its tags on Steam are point and click, adventure, classic, comedy, and 2D. Let's see what we got here. Well, it looks. I mean, this looks nice. <laughs> you got new game bonus. Uh, which bonus? Director commentary, if you're interested in that. Uh, concept art gallery as, as well, if you're interested in that. Uh, options, how to play, we're not going to get to that, so point and click, how hard can it be? <laughs> Controls, yep, yep, this seems pretty point and clicky. Uh, settings, uh, features, you can choose from remastered and classic on pretty much all of these, same thing with music, and some of them are auto, which is interesting, which I assume it switches back and forth or uses whatever the game believes is the better looking one. Game settings, you have subtitles, on off. Text language, voice language. Let's see, we got. Oh, just German English on voice. Text, we have. Oh gosh. English, French, Italian, Dutch, Espanol, English. Okay. And I believe. Sorry, that's not Dutch. I think that was German text language. And then full screen on and off, which annoyingly takes effect as soon as you click that on and off. Um, and then just volume, music, special effects, and voice. Could. It would have been nice to see more in here, but alas, it is a remaster of an old game, so it's fine. And credits are right here, too. Uh, load game over here, quit game. We went into bonuses. Let's go straight into new game, see what this is like. Uh, no, we're not going to do that, just because I am going to be talking. If you're interested in the uh, developer's commentary, feel free to get the game and check it out yourself. Pollution. Oh, at least they have a sign to let you know. Mm, I'm thirsty. I don't think you should drink that. <laughs> it looks bad for you. Nonsense. It makes me feel great. Smarter. More aggressive. I feel like I could. Like I could. <laughs> like I could. a hamster. Just what I need for dissection lab tomorrow. I think I need that for the band, Laverne. You know, like we could bite its head off or whatever. Hands off that hamster. Friend of yours, Bernard? He belongs to Weird Ed Edison, and it looks like he's brought us a note. It's from my old friend, Green Tentacle. 
He says that purple tentacles mutated into an insane genius, and Dr. Fred's going to kill them both. I thought I was free of Dr. Fred and those crazy Edisons forever. But now, I know that I must go back to the mansion. And this is something you do not see in most new games. Credits at the beginning. Feel like they could have made that road straighter. Okay, we'll spread out commando style. Laverne, you go secure the area behind those double doors. Hoagie, you take care of upstairs reconnaissance. I'll maintain Command HQ here, in the lobby. What are we looking for? We've got to find where Dr. Fred is holding the tentacles. This better not take too long. I've got an anatomy final tomorrow. And I've got a show to set up later tonight. If I'm late, I don't get to test the drums. If I know Dr. Fred, he's got the tentacles tied up in his secret lab. Question is, where's his secret lab? Oh, nice, nice. So you get the controls anyway. So walk, confirm, left click. Open verb selection dial, right click, open inventory, middle mouse button, shift, object highlight, escape open menu, switch render mode. Okay, so you can switch back and forth. That'll be nice um, if you want to see the old and the new. And enter to confirm, navigate menu, skip cutscenes, nah, never open inventory also. Okay, commentary. Okay, so commentary you can, I guess, turn on and off. Select Togi, select Bernard, select Laverne, dialogue selection, and skip dialogue. Cool. So, already forgot. Already forgot. What was it? It's not it. Controls. Switch render mode. F1. Oh, wow. Wow. Like I said, I never... I never played the original, but oh my gosh, yeah. That is one... That is one... <laughs> I mean, I guess, yeah, pixelated is crap, yeah. Man. Yeah, it really comes to life. Um, guess he just checks stuff. Chuck the plant. Push chuck the plant. Uh, I don't think we're going to do any of that. Pick up. No, let's, let's look A at it. Horticultural horror. Whole dime, y'all. Mint, my favorite. 
Pick it up. It's stuck to the floor. Of course it is. It's signed, here's your EPA grant. Keep up the good work. Hi from Mommy, Ronnie83. I'd rather not mess with it. It might be booby-trapped. That one looks like it's from a local hardware store. It's from George's Hardware. George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. Oh crap, what if you don't have a basement? Looks like a stand for tourist info and ads for local merchants. Help wanted, lab assistant. Hardworking moronic drone needed to assist genius <laughs> with experiments. High school diploma, not required. I just still can't get over that, y'all. Now, it would be nice. I guess I guess if you're playing the remastered version, you remember having, like, this inventory and stuff and all of this stuff. Oh, sorry. Would be nice to have a little bit of that in the bottom, but I can see why they wanted to go for the full cinematic experience here. Fake barf. How did that get up there? I can't reach it up there. Looks like Dr. Fred wearing a powdered wig. Handsome in a way, but I'm glad he eventually accepted his hair loss. <laughs> I don't really want it. Hey. The safe is closed. I don't know the combination. Okay. Mm Sleek design, sturdy construction, attractive housing. All in all, a fine phone. I don't have anyone to call. Ooh, a bank book. Gee, Dr. Fred doesn't have a penny. Hmm. <laughs> Broke. It doesn't seem to open. Oh. Boy, the Edisons are a spectacularly ugly family. Jesus. Desk drawer, wanna... It's a bottle of correctional fluid. Gonna be useful, I assume. Wow, it's from my favorite movie. Wonder what that could be. Wonder what that looked like. Oh, okay. Discernible. Discernible in pixels. Uh, that's not what I want. Camera. I hope no one's watching. Yeah, we hope. I look so goofy on video. Jesus. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. I think we'll have to figure out the combination later. It looks broken, but there's something in the... It looks broken, but there's something in the coin return. I'll pay. I'll take a dime. I got a whole dime, y'all. Open that. Aha! A secret passage. This is all too easy. Oh, we're going in. Oh. And uh, he. Okay. Laverne, how'd you get upstairs? Am I upstairs? I got lost. Seen any tentacles? What's a tentacle? Oh, just something I whipped up in my spare time. Made good pets, actually. Until one of them tried to take over the world. Had to tie the little buggers up in the basement. Good thing you told us that. Yeah, Bernard wanted us to set them free. Thank God you weren't that stupid. Did you say Bernard? <laughs> okay, you're free to go. Jesus. Thanks, Bernard. Yes, thank you, naive human. 
Now I can finish taking over the world. <laughs> Wait! Oh, yeah. Now I remember. He's incredibly evil, isn't he? Uh, I'll try to talk him out of it. Well, what possible harm could one insane mutant tentacle do? Leaping Labrats! Dr. Fred! What have you done this time, you meddling milk toast? Now Purple Tentacle is free to use his evil mutant powers to take over the world and enslave all humanity! Whoops! Our only hope now is to turn off my sludge -o magic machine! and prevent the toxic mutagen from entering the river. Isn't it a little late for that, Doctor? Of course, that's why I'll have to do it. Yesterday, through the time machine. This is all your fault, Bernard. Behold, children, the Chronogen. Doc, can't you just send Bernard? No, you must all go to increase the odds that one of you will make it there alive. Have any people ever been hurt in this thing? Of course not. This is the first time I've ever tried it on people. Well, I'll be. Bernard, float over here so I can punch you. This must be that Woodstock place Mom and Dad are always talking about. What could it all mean? I don't know. I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Die. <laughs> Die. We may not live to see yesterday. I'm sure Dr. Fred wouldn't have done this if it weren't safe. Hm. After all, he is a doctor. It works! I can't believe it! And they said Imitation Diamond wasn't good enough. Hm. Uh-oh. Cheap mail order jewels. What happened to Hokey and Laverne? I knew I should have bought a real diamond. Are they alive? My dials say that the larger specimen landed 200 years in the past, and the other is stuck 200 years in the future. Well, hurry up and bring them back. Hmm. I will, as soon as I get a new diamond. Then all your buddies have to do is plug in their respective chronogons and... Plug them in? Where is Hoagie going to find an electrical outlet 200 years in the past? Yes, well, he'll be needing my patented super battery then, won't he? Now, where did I put those patented super battery plans of mine? Plans? How are we going to get Hoagie plans? Don't worry me with details, boy. Just help me find the plans. They're in this house somewhere. Now what am I going to do? I think I made myself perfectly clear. Step one, find plans. Step two, save world. Step three, get out of my house. Let's get cracking. Pretty straightforward. <laughs> Pretty straightforward game, I think. Uh, yeah, find some plans. What do we got? Time machine, let's just, just, oh. 
Nope, not gonna mess with that. It's empty. It's literally a toilet. I'm surprised I ever got out of there alive. Maybe I put them upstairs. That's got to be it. Upstairs! It looks like a generator driven by a treadmill. I think it's designed to run with something. I think it's the switch for the sludge -matic machine. There, it's off. But it's too late now. It's Dr. Fred's design for a super battery. It's Kate. I've got the plans. Quick, we have to flush them to Hoagie. How did you get over there? <laughs> My ingenious super battery design, please. You really flushed them. Yes! Down the toilet. No, through time! Using the highly sophisticated time flux hydraulic vortex chamber I've installed in each chronogen, you can flush small inanimate objects to each other through time. Flush small inanimate objects to each other through time. Hello? Dr. Fred, can you hear me? Drat. Did you hear something? No. Let's see if what's-his-name catches on. Oh, great. I'm stuck in colonial times, tentacles are taking over the world, and now the toilet's backing up. Okay, Come over here! It's your old pal, Dr. Fred! Dr. Fred? How'd you get in there? I want you to pick up those plans you see in the chronogen, Hoagie. Bring them to Red Edison. He's my great, 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 great grandfather. He'll know what to do. You need the plans to make a super battery so you can plug in your chronogen. Okay, if you say so, Bernard. Good boy. Does he have any experience with electronics? Um, well, I once saw him take 3,000 volts directly through his head without batting an eye. Didn't he pass out? Well, he was already passed out when it happened. Jesus. Time for me to save the world, I guess. Uh, okay, I got the plan. Sorry, patent application and a can opener. <laughs> It's empty. Grody. Huh, this door appears to be locked. Huh, this door appears to be locked. Let me see if I can get some kumquats. Mmm, kumquats. I don't wanna. Jesus! Ye oldie outhouses. The father of our country is gazing out at me. Of course he is. Wow. Of course he is. Can I open it? I can't reach it. Okay. Meanwhile, it's... Soon all the power of the heavens will be mine! All mine! If only we had some nasty weather! It's totally covered with crud. Making it dirtier won't help. Oh. Mailbox, what do we got? We got some mail? It's closed. Thank you. You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. Woohoo, the Pony Express.
What's up? Don't feel like talking, huh? Vow of silence or something, probably, right? Mm -hmm. This room well, looks very cool. familiar. I have something for Red Edison. Do you know where I could find him? Great hat, man. I know some dudes in a band who'd eat roaches for hats like that. <sighs> Later, dude. Genius game. Genius game. Genius game. Let's see if there's a secret passage. I'm guessing it conceals the entrance to a secret lab. <laughs> Straight back down. There he is. Hey. What is it? <laughs> You look kind of familiar. Of course I do. I'm Red Edison, the inventor. Not to mention owner of this inn. Perhaps you've seen my picture in some important scientific journal. Then again, maybe not. Do you know Ben Franklin? Franklin? <laughs> I would never associate with that overstuffed goofball. He has the stupidest idea about glasses with one red lens and one blue one. Jesus. What are you doing? I'm inventing you, simpleton. What's it look like I'm doing? I know an inventor who looks a bit like you. Well, it's not one of my sons, that's for sure. It appears that I, Red Edison, foremost genius of my day, am to be the last in a long line of gifted inventors. My nearly indistinguishable sons have decided that they want to be artists. I think it was Jed's idea. Or is it Ned? Nah, well, the left-handed one at any rate. It must be some sort of bad blood on their mother's side. What are you inventing? It's a complex metal device designed to minimize paper entropy. What are you inventing? It's a complex metal okay. device designed to minimize paper entropy. Well, see you later. You might if you cut that hair a bit shorter. Jesus. Okay, I assume I have to... Hmm. Yes. Oh, nope. It's the battery plants I'm supposed to give to that Red Edison dude. Hmm, super battery, eh? Brilliant design. Sometimes I amaze myself. Now all I need is oil, vinegar, and some gold. Cool. Guess I gotta get oil, vinegar, and some gold. It looks more like a raincoat than a lab. Hey! Only employees are allowed to use <laughs> that lab coat. Of course. It's covered with plans and junk. Well, this seems like the game. You point and click. I'm sure, as I said earlier, if you've played the original, this is very nostalgic for you. It, it, it holds up. It's funny. The remaster's done a lot of good work. I mean, if you had to play like this, I can see nowadays this wouldn't be acceptable. But really, with the remaster, it's solid. Um, you know, nostalgia, you know, kind of really sells um and if you're interested in any point and click adventures this could also be for you um brand new a uh, little slow at times but you know it is just kind of the pace of the game so totally fine 
if you're interested, check it out. I might be playing the rest of it. I do not know. Um, definitely seems interesting. Um, I don't know. I haven't played the, the prequel to this, so who knows? I, I'm lacking lots of uh, canon lore <laughs> uh, knowledge about the world. But interesting enough that if you played the original, you'll probably definitely want to play through it, especially with that director's commentary um, on... Um, I can see v being a very, uh, sorry, developer's commentary, not director. Developer's commentary I can see being a very interesting thing for players and uh, fans of the original game and of really any game and, you know, development uh, um, process that games go through. I'm going to leave it right here, though, gamers. Thank you for watching. Feel free to do this stuff. I've been a formal bust. Until next time, take care and drink some H2O, gamers.